One of the most common edits made in solids modeling is to fillet or chamfer edges. Filleting means to round the edges, while chamfering means to apply an angle. Nice thing about NanoCAD is that it shows you a preview of what the radius of the fillet or the angle of the chamfer will look like before you finish the command. To round the edges of a solid model, go to the 3D Tools tab, the Solid Editing panel, and then choose Fillet Edge. Notice the dialog box that appears. First thing you want to do is set the radius. How big is the curve? And here NanoCAD has a nifty way of determining the number directly in the drawing. So click the Measure Radius button and then pick two points such as here and here. Notice that it's 5. Press Enter and 5 has been entered. There's two different ways to fill it a solid. First we'll do the Select Single Edge. Here's an important thing. Ignore this area of the dialog box. Now go into the drawing and select an edge you want filleted. Notice that NanoCAD highlights it in green. I'm going to select it, and then in red, NanoCAD is highlighting how big the fillet will be. Sometimes it's possible to have a fillet that's too big, and then NanoCAD won't add it to the model. Click OK, and the fillet is added. The other way to place fillets on a solid model is to use the Face option. This places fillets on all the edges of the face you select. I move my cursor around and then click when a face is outlined in red. Again, NanoCAD previews the size of the radii. And I come over here and click and all four sides of the face are filleted. To produce a chamfer or a angled edge is much the same as a fillet. So from the toolbar, select Edge Fillet and then move the cursor down to Chamfer Edge. And the dialog box appears. Again, you can specify the distance. I'll do as before and pick 5. And again, you have the Edge and Chain options. And so I will choose this edge. And again, NanoCAD previews the chamfer with the red lines. I click OK and the edge is chamfered. The Chain option works just as it does with the Fillet command. I move the cursor close to an edge to select the face I want. There's the preview. Click OK and all of the edges are chamfered. Unlike the fillet command, there are a couple of different ways to specify the chamfer. We use the equal distance from both faces, which makes the chamfer at 45 degrees. You can, however, select a distance and an angle. And this is useful if you want the chamfer to be at an angle other than 45 degrees. So let's pick 30, select the edges, click OK, and there's the 30 degree angle which results in a longer chamfer. The other option is where you specify two distances and then NanoCAD works out the angle. I'll show you now an editing trick that's impossible with solids, and yet it results in a solid. I'm going to go over here to the Mesh panel and choose Box. This draws a box made from polyface meshes. It's a different kind of 3D entity. In the Properties type, we see Polyface Mesh. Now I've got it selected. I'm going to grab one of these corner vertices, and then I can simply stretch it. Press Escape to get rid of the grips. And now when we look at it from different angles, we can see it's no longer a box, but it has that stretched part to it. To turn it into a solid, come over to the Transform panel and choose Convert to Solid. NanoCAD prompts you to choose the object to convert. I select it, press Enter. The Properties panel tells me that it is indeed a 3D solid. This kind of solid is not easily done using solids editing, and so sometimes it makes sense to start with a mesh then convert to a solid.